welcome back to my channel and a brand new vlog. I've got John Martin here with me and we've got little Louie. It's been a minute since I've done a vlog and I'll do a proper like catch up with you guys at some point later on but quick update is we ended up finding a, um, a four bedroom in Windsor that we have just really taken to and really, really love. Um, the community is so lovely here in Windsor. It's super easy to get to London. And this morning we are off to drop Louis off for his first full day of nursery. So we are, we are both sad and excited for him. And for us, it feels like, I don't know. How do you feel about it? Yeah, bit, bit much, but yeah, it's nice and exciting as well to get back on track. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Louis, um, they've been like sending us photos during his like settling in sessions, and the photos are so cute. Like you always think that like maybe they won't make friends or they'll have a hard time with it, but he seems to be settling in just fine. So, anyways, just thought I would start the vlog off here. It is really chilly <laughs> this morning. Um, We've got Louis as bundled up as we can. We're a bit in transition with his pram at the moment. We've still got the Duna. We were kind of waiting on a nanny share situation. Potentially needed to get a double stroller, um, but that has fallen through. So we'll be getting a new stroller very soon with one of those little like warm, cozy little pockets for Louis. All right, Louis. Back home now, I stopped at Gail's on my way home. So I thought that I would just do a little catch up, a little coffee talk sesh while I enjoy my coffee. I actually have a little bit left from this morning. Um, you might have seen from those clips that Louis was like obsessed with this little mug. Um, I got this from, I'm pretty sure it's called Type Press League. I've seen it all over Instagram like a million times and I, even before I had Louie. And I was like, oh, I wanna make one of those mugs with like fish and chips' faces on them um, because you can put pets on there as well. Um, and then I just never got around to it. And then I was just like, this would make such a cute holiday gift. So I got one for John. Um, I got one for my dad. And then I got one for John's mom. Um, and I got one for me. So if you are looking for a sweet gift idea for a friend or a family member, this would be a really cute one. I'll leave. Um, links to anything that I talk about in this vlog down below. If you are familiar with vlogs, you know the drill, but if not, everything is linked in the description box. And if you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Haley. Um, please do click that subscribe button. Um, I am excited to hopefully be bringing you guys more videos. Now that we're in Windsor and we have a home and we're settled, um, at least for a little while until we find somewhere that we want to buy, I feel like we can actually like move forward um, for so long. I kind of felt like we were living on pause, if that makes sense. Like I felt like I couldn't really look into help with Louis. And the last two years have just been crazy for everybody, including myself with all the change. Um, also, I'm gonna potentially be talking about like um, Louis and childcare and stuff. So if, if that is triggering for you in any way, if you're trying to conceive and you're in a hard season, I don't want to be insensitive to that. So, um, uh, maybe just, um, like go forward a little bit. Taking on, um, the role of mom has been, um, both beautiful and really hard. If I'm honest, I very much now that he is in nursery, um, want to kind of get back to things um, that I used to talk about on YouTube, on my blog, and uh, I'm really looking forward to that. I think it'll really kind of um, almost just, you know, make life feel even more full. I feel so grateful um, for Louis, and um, I don't feel like I've ever entered any into anything that um, has ever felt more natural. Like, I, I've never really struggled with, um, like, being his mom. Um, I do think that I very much underestimated um, how like mentally taxing, emotionally taxing um, this season can be and um, it doesn't mean that I'm not grateful. I think that there's a lot of duality in, um, in all, all things really. It can, you know, you can um, hold truth for both 
things that feel like they're opposite, you know? Like I love Louis so much. I'm so grateful to have had um, so much uh, dedicated like one-on-one -on -one time with him up until this point. He's almost, he'll be 10 months in a couple days. Um, and um, it's, it's also been really challenging, I think, as he's gotten um, bigger and more mobile and um, I, at least for me, I, I really miss um, some of the things that I used to pour myself into and I think I've really, really learned. I knew, I kind of knew that this would be the case, but I've really learned that I, I do need, um, I do need something outside of motherhood, even though that fills up my cup as well. Um, I, I kind of need um, to get back to work, not only because it's necessary for me to contribute to our lifestyle and to our livelihood, um, uh, but also I, I enjoy it. So um, I think that, um, you know, us as women and, and as moms, we really need to kind of, um, do our best to, um, if we're able to really stay true to what we want and we need. And, um, I feel a little bit uncomfortable, like talking about all these things. Cause I know that everyone's in so many different situations. So I really can only speak to mine and please know that if anything that I say feels, um, not true for you or, or different for you, just please know that I'm not trying to be insensitive. Um, but I can't speak to everybody's experience. I'm just speaking, um, on mine. I was reading, um, a post, um, that a friend of mine put up last night on Instagram and um, she's pregnant and she um, received really, really sad and not very good news about um, her baby and it just made me like, like my heart just crumble to pieces. I know there are so many women out there really struggling um, for so many different reasons, whether it's to become a mom um, or you know, in the season of pregnancy and, um, you know, birth and postpartum, there are so many areas and ways that, um, motherhood can be hard. And so I really just never, ever want to make it seem like, you know, I'm the worst off or anything. I'm just speaking to my experience. And I very much know that there's a lot of heaviness going on in the world surrounding that. So please know that I'm not naive to that and um, I also don't want to discount or not share, you know, something that feels true for me because maybe it, it validates something that you've been feeling but you've been afraid to say. Um, I think that there are so many um, things that can be true. You can, you can love it and also be like, I'm ready to drop you off at daycare today. Um, so anyway, let's lighten things up a bit. <laughs> I'm gonna watch that back and be like, I wish I would have said this, or I wish I would have said that, or I didn't finish saying this. But hopefully all that made sense. <laughs> so thanks so much for listening. Um, I'm gonna show you what um, I wore this morning. Um, it's just a couple of cozy layers. Right, so I just went with <laughs> the easiest, um, comfiest thing I could find this morning. This is a pair of um, ribbed joggers um, from a lounge set that I was wearing yesterday, just threw them on again. And I grabbed um, this like camel um, turtleneck, um, just super warm and cozy. And then I threw on this cardigan coat. I recently got this on sale on Matches Fashion when I found it as I was looking for some vacation um, dresses. So I was like, oh, actually I'm not really looking for this, but this is cute. And it was 15% off, which for Matches Fashion was pretty good. Um, they have like tons of designers on there. They're kind of like, if you've never shopped on there before, they're kind of similar to Shop Up, um, cause I think most of you are American. Um, but anyways, it's really beautiful. It is actually don't remember the material. I need to kind of look, but it's really thick and cozy. Like I don't know how to explain it, but it just, it's really like not heavy. It still feels light, but it's warm. So love it. I love these little pockets here and yeah, these two are old. I'll try and find similar, um, but the cardigan coat should still be in stock. So I'll link it in the description box down below. All right. I'm going to go get myself ready for the day.
as you saw, I got some laundry folded and put away. Um, I also ran out quickly to go grab um, some dry cleaning. I've had my AirPods in. I've been listening to country music. I haven't listened to country music in so long. Country used to be like all I listened to for years. Um, it's like kind of, I can sometimes get a bit emotional um, because it just takes me back to like some really sweet times. It makes me feel kind of old. I'm like, oh my gosh, that was so long ago when I used to listen to this. Um, but anyways, I um, came across this song that if you listen to <laughs> country often, you probably have already heard it, but it's called um, Drunk and I Don't Want to Go Home by Miranda Lambert and Elle King. She sings that song X's and O's. I don't know if you've ever heard it, but it was pretty popular at some point in the last year or two so catchy so if you haven't heard it and you're needing some new um, song recommendations that is a good one um but yeah it was really really nice to kind of just like zone out <laughs> and get stuff done around the house um i just got a revolve order in so i wanted to quickly share what um what i got something fun to share uh, that we have coming up is that we're going on vacation um i've been saying for the longest time that i would really like to go on like a warm weather getaway and you know just life hasn't afforded us the opportunity to do so over the last two years um but and yes i did get to go to florida last year um but it wasn't necessarily like a I didn't necessarily go and like just like relax on the beach or anything and and beaches where i'm from like i'm glad that we have them like grateful um but yeah they're not like they're not like the beaches that you see in like vacation advertisements okay um so i have been really looking forward to planning a getaway and i've always said like i want to go to italy i want to go to greece now that i'm living here in the uk it's such a great like jumping off point to get to those places really quickly um and we're not going to italy or greece this time um but i'm really excited to get away in the winter because i think winter is a bit of a struggle uh, for a lot of people who live in colder climates so we are uh we played with we played around with a lot of different ideas as to where we would go. Um, John was really intrigued about potentially going over to Asia, maybe Thailand or um, Cambodia, um, but I got really nervous about that um, just with what's going on in the world. He threw out the Maldives. I was like, mm, more of a honeymoon spot in my mind. <laughs> I do love the idea of the Maldives to be fair. Um, but I was like, I just kind of feel like the Caribbean would be really nice because it is really warm. Um, or Mexico, um, so we looked into both options and we uh, finally ended up choosing the Bahamas, which I've actually never been to, which I think is pretty crazy considering I grew up in Florida and literally everyone I know would always go vacation in the, in the Bahamas, um, but we just never did. So uh, I'm really excited. Um, a part of me is a little bit like, I am excited, don't get me wrong, but there is a part of me that's like, because I grew up so close to it, I'm like, oh, I wanted to go somewhere like I'd love to go to like Aruba or we looked at Turks and Caicos as well extensively and we almost booked Turks and Caicos but we were really um, in love with the fact that where we're staying in the Bahamas is like there's tons to do. We're staying um, at Bahamar. They have three resorts on the property and there's so many restaurants. There's so many pools. There's tons to do for families. So it'll be really, really nice for us I think because we haven't been able to kind of get away and enjoy some just time away from home together so i'm really pumped and we will tie in a trip to florida around that trip so we'll see my dad and my dad will be able to spend some time with louis which will be really nice before he turns one so with all that said um with this revolve order i've been shopping for more warm weather like vacation type stuff so i've seen tons of purple and i'm here for it usually i stick to neutrals i still probably will by and large but I've always really loved a beautiful, like bright lavender color. Um, and so I saw this uh, bikini from Beach Riot and I haven't tried it on yet, but I really, and these are really long. I'm, I definitely need them to be a little bit shorter, but I really, really liked um, the color and the cut of this top. It's like a really pretty ribbed material. The only thing is there is no support here and the curls, they need a bit of support after um, my breastfeeding attempt uh because yeah they don't they're not they're not what they were <laughs> so uh so yeah we'll see what that looks like i might be able to if i really really like it i might see if i can get some like amazon um like insert supports or something 
Uh, and then these are the bottoms. I think they're a bit cheeky. If you've been to Baja Mar <laughs> and stayed at Grand Hyatt, let me know if it's, if you would be, if you think that this would be a bit much. Personally, I'm like, you know what? You do you. Rock it if you want. So that, that might be what I embrace. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see how these fit even. I don't even really know my size these days. Um, I also grabbed um, just a really nice basic from Anine Bing. I always love her stuff, um, whether it's like a nice sweatshirt or graphic tee. Um, but I grabbed a, um, like a high neck tank top that's in a really nice just ribbed material in white because I just feel like this is such a good basic. And I'm not gonna lie, I ordered one from H&M last year and I really liked it, but I shrank it. And it's really, really tight on me. So yeah, just thought this was a really good basic. Hopefully it fits okay. And then I actually think that this was, I should have thought this through a little bit more. This is from LA Made and it's just a really easy, like basic long sleeve uh, more tight fitting crew neck top and I bought it I think on the website it's it's called a thermal but I should have looked at what it's made of it's made of 50% cotton and 50% 50% modal which I'm not sure what that is but I don't think it's something that will really hold in your warmth and keep you super warm like a thermal should so I'm not sure if I'll keep this um, but I'll link it down below if you want to take a look um, and then the last thing I got was a hat I went to on a conference back in September um, that my management company put on and they gave us these black hats with white writing that said like Camp E5 but I don't know what I did with it but there have been a few times I've gotten dressed I'm like I wish I had that hat I wish I had that hat so um, I found this one from Anine Bing on Revolve and it's probably too expensive for a hat like I can't remember what I paid for it so yeah I wouldn't Anine Bing it's a little bit more of a premium um, brand but this hat that has the same overall vibe um, for those days where I'm just throwing on something super cash um, especially as it you know starts to warm up which will be <laughs> a while from now to be fair um, but yeah I like it uh, okay so I'll link everything that I just mentioned down below if you are interested um i do have a shop up order i can't remember if i mentioned this or not but i do have a shop up order coming i don't know exactly what day it's going to be delivered so i might cover it in this vlog if not i'll cover it in the next i also again i don't know if i mentioned this already i might do like a what's new in my wardrobe video at some point because i i have been doing quite a bit of shopping recently all right um i'm not sure if i'll be getting to the river island um, order today um, just because I'm just noticing the time and I need to get myself like I need to do something with this hair I need to do something with this um, and then I also need to get my bag ready um, to go to London and figure out what train I'm taking but anyways I'm <laughs> just thinking out loud um, I wanted to quickly share a couple things from Amazon that have come in um, both are for vacation and I'm really excited so there's a dress um, brand that's on Amazon that I've purchased a few um, dresses from in the past. I'll pop one on the screen here um, and they're really really pretty so I'll link that one down below um, but I was just trying to see what they had available this year um, the other day when I was like thinking about um, going away and they had this one and I thought it was really really pretty and it comes in a few colors so I'll link it down below for you guys. It's also all their dresses are really affordable, but it's got this really pretty like smocked detailing here, really stretchy here in the bust area and ruffle details across the chest. And then um, sleeves that you can wear off the shoulder or on the shoulder just depends on your style and what you feel suits you. And then like a little puff sleeve and then a really pretty like Swiss dot material along um, the skirt. And I'm pretty sure it's like midi length. I'll pop a try on clip over the top of this if I am able to get to it today. But if not, then I'll try to share it um, tomorrow. But I wanted to share that with you guys um, because I know that we're always looking for things that are a little bit more on the, the affordable end um, and that you can wear multiple times on your vacation. Like that's such an easy throw on for dinner and you can wear that like a couple nights later to dinner. Um, so yeah, I'll pop that down in the description box. And then another thing that I got is more on the tech side. So I ended up getting this what's called a DJI OM5 or OM5 it's basically like a really fancy selfie stick 
I really want to, I love travel content just in general. Um, I loved, you know, the travel aspect of what I did prior to moving to the UK and I really want to get back into sharing more travel content when we do travel. Um, so I thought this would be a really nice, um, product to invest in for getting not only photos of us, but also taking really nice, very clean and um, smooth videos of um, like the ocean or just the overall um, vibe of where we're staying or what I'm wanting to show you guys. I just really want to up my travel content game and how I share experiences with you guys, even if it's just going to London for the day. So I'm really excited to look into this contraption. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it yet, but um, it looked pretty cool from uh, what I saw on the product page So I'll link that down below as well as always um, Okay, I'm gonna go grab a quick bite to eat and get myself ready for London And I'm gonna do my hair. So I will catch you guys in a bit curling wand or curling iron if um, you're curious it's a GHD wave or curve <laughs> a GHD curve it's so great I've had it for a couple of years now since I moved here I um, had to get one with a UK plug um, okay enough rambling I really need I was gonna put more makeup on but I'm just going for a catch-up sesh with Whitney and Victoria Whitney just moved into um, a new flat that's just next door to her old flat, to be honest. Um, and her old flat was one that we have lots of memories in, so I will miss going to that one. Oh my gosh, I have this like flake right here. Um, but yeah, it'll be fun to show you the new one. The new one has such a fun view, and it's in our old, our old stomping grounds. So I'm really pumped to go back to where my love for London all started. <laughs> okay, I need to go. got to go um but i just threw on this cashmere beige turtleneck from mango from last year this really cute um cream and beige houndstooth blazer from river island i'll put that in the description box down below it should still be available um white jeans um some camel boots and then sun in here and it's a bit hot um but i think i'm gonna wear this over the top or at least bring it with me for later because this evening when i leave i think it will be pretty chilly so yeah okay gotta go see you in one.
forgot to, I have to change um, train stations when I take the, the quick train to London. Um, that takes about a half an hour. Um, and so each train is super short. Um, so when I changed um, at trains at the station, <laughs> there was a train going to Paddington already there. And I was like, oh, well, I'll just get this one because it's going to Paddington anyways. But I didn't look up the route and it stopped so many times and I ended up getting into London a lot later. Um, and one of the stops was Ealing Broadway, which is along one of the tube lines that goes to Earl's Court, which is the neighborhood I'm in now. It's where I lived in 2016 for six months, and it is the neighborhood that is like literally on the cusp of South Kensington and Chelsea and all those very quintessential London neighborhoods. Um, has a really soft spot in my heart. I will always feel at home here and wish I could go back to that season because it was just so lovely. Princess Diana lived here before she married Charles. So that's a really fun, a little fun fact. There's photos of her like running along the high street. I'll put a photo here. And um, it's just, yeah, a special place to me. But um, <laughs> Ealing Broadway is along one of the tube lines that gets to Earl's Court. So I was like, I'll just get off the train here. So, so I did. And then I'm on the tube and I'm kind of like in my own world. I'm texting with my friend who's going to Portugal. <laughs> and she was like, I need recommendations. I was sending her all this stuff, getting so excited about her trip. <laughs> And I totally missed Earl's Court and I went like four stops past and I was like, oh my gosh I don't know how I did that. Clearly, clearly I love Travel and helping people plan trips But um, anyways, I'm on my way to Whitney's. I'm late for my call, but I'm very happy to be back in this hood and To see the girls. It's been a minute since we've all been together. I saw Victoria last week but I haven't seen Whitney since the Atlas Adventures trip, so let's go do a girls night. All right, it's about an hour later. I've been chatting with the girls, also had my call. Wanted to show you a quick little tour of the flat. Looks so nice. They literally just moved in this weekend and you would never be able to tell. It looks so put together and nice. Cute little setup, Whipwit. <laughs> and then this view, is this unlocked? Yeah, it should be. Okay. This outdoor patio with a gorgeous view. Oh no. What are we drinking, Whip? This is Gusborn. It's an English sparkling wine. This is their Brut Reserve, Ooh. made of Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier, and Chardonnay. Yum. Are you a wine expert? 2017 vintage. <laughs> Do you have your W set? <laughs> <laughs> she does, by the way. <laughs> so does V. I'm with a level three. Yeah. I'm with some pros over here. Whoever we really screwed. <laughs> What for the next course? Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. hot AF. It's gonna be, yeah. gonna be great. Don't you worry. You guys Whoa, are very smart. Kind of. I mean, it's just that one's wider, Whoa. one's taller. We'll take this one if you want. Cool. I've got the big one. <laughs>
guys okay it's now the next day it's friday um we are going to be heading down to cornwall a little bit later i am still fresh face i haven't gotten myself ready for the day i just threw clothes on this morning to go drop louis off um, at nursery um the girls said that he did so good yesterday they sent through so many photos and little videos of him laughing and smiling and so it just made my heart just feel so much better uh, i wasn't worried really to be honest um, i think i knew he would be fine but it's just really nice to know that they are having a good time and they're not miserable, obviously. Um, and yeah, John said he picked him up yesterday and he was really sleepy and he did go to bed um, a little bit earlier than normal. I had like this like moment where I was feeling a little bit bad that I wasn't there to pick him up because I don't know if this is just me or other moms feel this way, but like you have this like this thought that like you have to be everywhere at all times and like you have to do all the things. Anyways, I was like having this like moment where I was like, I should be there to pick him up on his first day of nursery. And then I was like, no, he's totally fine. John is equally like equal parts of parent to Louie as I am. And he's being picked up on time by one of his parents and it's totally fine. I don't have to be there. Um, so anyway, I was just thinking about mom guilt and I'm trying not to subscribe to this idea that like, I don't know, I guess we're conditioned sometimes to think that we have to like be at everything and go to everything and you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if that makes sense, but I just kind of feel like um, we as women hold ourselves to the standard that I don't think we need to and I think society holds us to that standard as well unfairly against men like just like people applaud men for just being a parent like oh wow he did bath time yeah he did because he's he's Louis parent and you do bath time when you're a parent so anyway I don't know if any of that made sense but I just kind of feel like I'm trying to like just r like reject those feelings of guilt when they're not really substantiated if that makes sense um i'm reading this book by glennon doyle called untamed and it kind of speaks to that um just like kind of about gender roles and um it's not all about that but it's just kind of like um resisting um not like living within a cage that i think society and like historically like women have been kind of put in and to like own your own your truth you don't have to like deny you know everything that you you are just because of x y and z and so anyway it's just a very enlightening book and i have always loved her as a writer so if you're looking for a book it's it's a few years old now so you probably have already heard of it anyways okay i've rambled for a bit i need to get myself ready for the day i'm gonna try a couple of new well one new product today um it's by uh actually this is a different product oh um, Kidding. When I placed my net a porter order, I um, I could have sworn that I put um, a like Charlotte Tilbury like tinted primer in there, and I I just checked the order and I didn't. But I do have a Westman Altier highlight stick to try in this really really pretty like pale pink shade. I'm gonna try and do a little swatch so you can see. A little goes a long way for this, I think. You can kind of see the highlight there. I have a really nice, um, yeah, reflection on the cheekbones. So yeah, anyway, okay, I'm gonna um, do my makeup. I need to uh, get some dry shampoo in this hair, like desperate, desperate for some dry shampoo. And then hopefully, I'll have a little bit of time to go through at least um, at least my Nutter Porter order with you guys, um, and that might be it. <laughs> but I think I have tons more to share with you guys next week, so hopefully in the next vlog I can kind of pick up where we left off um, with some new in items.
makeup is done, I'm gonna just point out a couple of products that I have been loving um, that I might not have shared here on YouTube. I might have shared on Instagram, but quickly, um, I put some Ilia um, lip balm on my lips because they're just always dry this time of year. I love Jack Black's um, lip balm with SPF 25. That's my favorite of all time. But this one is a really, really good, um, like second best. Um, and it's super, super clean ingredients um, and cruelty free and all the good things. I also love Tarte's Fake Awake. This is, this is such a great, um, like waterline eyeliner. It's uh, more of like a cream color, not like bright, bright white, but it really kind of like opens up your eyes and makes you look less tired. And I can use that uh, these days. So if you can as well, it'll be linked down in the description box down below. Okay, so I did do, this is looking fabulous now. <laughs> I don't know if it's focusing. Anyways, I messed up this whole thing. But um, anyways, I put it on this side and look at how beautiful that highlight is. It's really nice and like glowy and subtle. So um, I just put it on that one side so you can kind of see the difference. It's a bit more dull on this side. So I'm gonna just even this up. I just put a little bit on my finger here and then just kind of like put this on my cheekbone right here. give it a bit of a glow and then I put a little bit here I I don't know if I prefer cream highlighters I this is kind of my first go with it so um yeah I don't really like things that are like you know kind of it's not sticky it's just thick you know but it does blend out pretty nicely so maybe it'll be fine but I just wanted to give it a go and I like, um, I like how it looks. So anyway, I do love Westman Ulta products. I do have um, the bronzer of theirs. Um, it's pretty old now. I got it last year, I believe. It's, it's well loved. I use it almost every day. Um, this is in the shade uh, Soleil Riche. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, the highlighter is in the shade Nectar. Um, what else? Oh, I also have a lip gloss from, I have two actually, but one's over, over my thing. This one is the um, Squeaky Clean Liquid Lip Balm in, oh, I don't know French, but it's, I think it's Nu Nu, N-O-U, N-O-U. So anyway, um, I'll put this over the top of the lip balm. It's like a really nice, just pale, pale, pale pink. Not, I can't do, I don't feel like my skin tone suits pink makeup very, very well, to be honest. Um, so I have to do like very clear, like tr almost transparent light pinks when it comes to lip balms. I feel like they are the ones that suit my skin tone the best. Um, but yeah, I really like this lip gloss. I love the consistency. It's not super sticky. It's really, really smooth. I feel like I probably will maybe switch it to something a little bit more, um, uh, nudie, like brown, like with a brown undertone for this eyeshadow look. John's mom got me the Morphe 35X um, eyeshadow palette. She knows I love to play with eyeshadow. It just, it's like, honestly, I just have so much fun just kind of zoning out and just playing. Um, so anyway, she got me this for Christmas, which was very nice. Um, so yeah, those are a few things that I've been loving um lately so i will leave those items linked down below if you have and if you have any questions about anything else that i use feel free to ask in the comments below I'm happy to get back to you guys about anything that you want to know and then i've got to do something with this i've been letting the dry shampoo marinate for a while soak up all the oil um so now i usually do that before i do my makeup that way it has time um, or sometimes I even sleep with it like that. That way it's just ready to go in the morning for the curling wand. But um, anyway, yeah, okay, enough rambling.
I am now ready for the day. I just need to find a necklace um, to wear with this. Um, let me show you what I am wearing today on our journey. Excuse the mess back here. I need to clean this up before we leave because we're having a house slash pet sitter come and stay and we're gonna set up the air mattress in here. Uh, anyway, okay, so this is a new like lounge um, set from Free People. It's waffle knit, which is one of my favorite materials ever. Um, super comfortable. I could really use um, a bit of a tan to kind of complement this beautiful blue color, but it's time to get some, some color in our wardrobes. So yeah, I love this. I'll link it down below in the description box. Um, I'm gonna probably just wear some sneakers with it. Um, and I think all I need now is just a couple of my accessories. All right, so from Netta Porter, which for those of you in the States, I, I had heard of Netta Porter, but I wouldn't say it was like one of the retailers that I would always go to. I feel like my mainstays were like Nordstrom, uh, Shop Up Revolve, Neiman Marcus, if I was looking for something um, like more designer-esque that I couldn't find on another website. Um, but Netta Porter is really like an online retailer similar to, yeah, like a Neiman Marcus. I know Neiman Marcus has like department store locations, um, but like it's what the things that they have on their website are a lot like what you would find at Neiman Marcus. Um, not everything is wildly expensive, but I will say that a lot of the brands are premium and luxury. Um, so a lot of these pieces are going to be so great for um, our trip to the Bahamas. Um, I got two pairs of sandals. Don't know if I'll keep both, um, but they both really stood out to me. These are by Vince, and they are just a really, really nice um, pair of slides. Um, at first, I was like, these are not very, like, aesthetically pleasing, but Vince has really comfortable shoes. I have a pair of black loafers that I have run into the ground. I haven't worn them in quite a while, but they are so comfortable and I didn't have to break them in. And so I just thought that these were going to be a really great shoe option for um, heading down to the pool or anywhere where there might be water. And um, these would be easy to wipe off or rinse off. But to be honest, I did find a very similar pair at a much nicer price point. So I'll link these, but I'll also link the similar pair at a, a better price point down below for you guys as well. Okay, the next pair are by um, a brand I'm not super familiar with, to be honest. A. Emery Mateau. I hope I'm saying that right. Anyway, these are kind of like really strappy, almost like gladiator-esque sandals, but not like we're super intense. These actually give me um, Tory Burch vibes from like 2016. I'll pop a photo here on the screen um, if you followed me for that long. You probably remember I wore those to death. I still really like the style, so I'm like, you know, these might not be as on trend as they used to be, but I really, really like them. But I will say something that I didn't kind of put together when I was shopping, when I was looking at them on the website, was that this is black. And I just don't feel like I wear enough black in the spring and the summer to where I feel like these would like fully match. I know not everybody is gonna like think that far into it or even like notice notice them on my feet but I will and so there's a part of me that really wish, wishes that this um the foot part the foot part um the base of the sandal uh was more of this like neutral uh cognac camel color so that is my critique they are really um comfortable and uh, I do really like the way that the straps are situated and I really like them so I really want to keep them, but I'm I'm really on the fence. So I'd love to know what you think down below if I should keep them or not. All right, this next one is a bathing suit, and I I am just not and I'm just not feeling comfortable enough to to share what this looks like on me with you guys um, just yet. Um, but this I'm sure is a bathing suit that you've seen all over Instagram. It's this really really pretty like um, I don't know what you would say this material is, but I'll kind of show you a little bit close up so you can kind of see it's super super stretchy it's only one size um and i got the um i just got the white one i just think a white bathing suit is just so classic and beautiful um and goes with any cover-up um it's by hunza g london 
Um, they have a couple of other colors. I actually think that they have one in like a very similar color to this if you like more color um, in your bathing suit options. So I will leave that link down below, um, but I'm pretty sure that that is definitely gonna be a winner. Okay, the next thing is an accessory. And I'm really excited. It's definitely an accessory that um, is very different than all my other accessories. Like I was saying earlier, I really do like bracelets. And the bracelets that I feel like I tend to gravitate towards, um, especially in the spring and the summer, um, have like a lot like elastic to them. They're stretchy because of the small wrist situation. So I got this little stack of bracelets that actually look so cute with my Monica Vinader bracelet. Um, these are by Roxanne Asuline. I don't know if I'm saying her name right, so I do apologize. Um, but yeah, I love the colors. Um, I think they're really, really fun. I've been, uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier, but I've been seeing so much lavender and purple, and I really love like a bright, um, light purple. So I just kind of felt like because that was worked in here a bit, I felt like I might be able to kind of incorporate um, these into my swing wardrobe if I do find more pieces um, that are that color because I have been really gravitating towards um, purple lately. And if the purple bikini from yesterday from um, Revolve work out, um, then these will match perfectly. Stay tuned to my channel because I will be doing a what's new in my wardrobe video um, after I've tried everything on that I've shown you from these new orders that have come in. Um, I'll be kind of going through the things that I will be keeping and I'll style them for you as well. So stay tuned to the channel. All right, next is, there's going to be a lot of color clashing right now, so get ready, but I am obsessed with the colors in this dress. It is a beautiful floral midi dress by Zimmerman. Um, to be honest, I've always been really drawn to Zimmer Zimmerman dresses, but I've never really pulled the trigger just because I'm like, well, I get enough use out of that. Um, and I feel like this will be <laughs> the dress that kind of helps me answer that question. Like, should I really invest that much in dresses, especially if they are a floral dress? Yeah, I think this will be the year that I kind of find the answer to that question out. Um, I do think that there are a lot of opportunities for me to wear this dress. Um, lots of outdoor um, uh, festivities going on this year that are on our calendar and um, also a lot of um, warm weather getaways this year as well. So um, so yeah, hopefully it will be one of those um, pieces that I get a lot of use out of this year but in uh, years to come as well. So uh, I will give you feedback though if I feel like that kind of investment in a brand like Zimmerman for dresses, especially ones that are floral like I said, um, are really worth it. But um, all right, I've saved the best for last. This is a bag that I was really bummed that I missed out on last year because I felt like um, it would be a really good bag for um, spring and summer getaways, picnics, days out to the farmer's market, and things like that. I felt like I would get a lot of use out of it, um, but it was sold out for like the longest time. But it's been re-released, and so I was able to get my hands on it. It is the Chloe Woody Raffia Basket Bag. So I am so pumped and excited to bring this to the Bahamas with us. This is definitely a keeper. All right, and that is it. That is what I got from Netta Porter. Like I said, some things might not stay, but these are the things that caught my eye that are new in. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for the What's New in My Wardrobe um, video because those are pieces that I will be keeping. Um, so yeah, everything's linked down below. Um, and then, yeah, all right, I gotta get packed and I gotta get the air mattress and everything set up for our house sitter. So I'll catch you. All right, it is a couple hours later now. We are in the car, on the road. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> um, and heading down to Devon and Cornwall for the weekend. And we're really, really looking forward to it. Um, we were just saying how it takes so much longer to get out the door with a baby when you're like going on a road trip. You just feel like you need all the things. And it's just, yeah, it's a lot. Um, <laughs> John was about to lose it. Um, but anyways, we made it out and we're, we're all right. <laughs> uh, I thought now would be a great time to end this vlog. I feel like it is 
chock full. Ooh, Louis doesn't want me to end it here, <laughs> but we will. Um, I feel like we've <laughs> I've gone over tons of stuff and shared lots of things with you guys, and I'm really looking forward to putting more vlogs together this year for you guys and sharing more style and travel-based content here. Very groovy boy back there. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed this, wow. If you enjoyed this, please do give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit the subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.